Corporations access the market for their bonds through intermediary banks who use their contacts and expertise to gauge demand and determine an appropriate interest rate to sell a given quantity of bonds. Uh, it is normal for bonds to be issued at a slightly more attractive rate than the prevailing market rate uh, to engage investor interest and to make sure that all of the debt is sold. But if the initial pricing has been fair, you would expect uh, the payout from the bond to be roughly similar to that of other debt instruments on the secondary market. In other words, you wouldn't see too much of a dramatic price increase or price fall uh, in initial trading. Um, we found that this is not the case. Uh, bond, bonds issued by corporations tend to rise 16% more than bonds issued by the dealers themselves, and 94% more than treasury bonds, which are priced according to a competitive auction mechanism. Uh, bond dealers are investors as well as middlemen. Uh, because they retain a portion of the bond issuance for themselves, they can make a profit by advising a very low initial price and then flipping their holdings in the predictable subsequent price increase. They also have relationships with institutional investors, and serving these relationships might entail consistently offering better than market prices on bond issuances at the expense of corporate issuers. The prices for new bonds are in part derived from pricing history, so if underpricing has been pervasive, a new normal emerges and the problem perpetuates itself. The market is also by nature very opaque, with uh, banks by definition having more information about the level of demand than the issuers do, and it's very concentrated, with just six major dealers uh, holding 90% of the market share. Uh, this combination of lack of transparency and lack of competition means that banks can consistently understate the level of demand to their clients.